Hi again everyone and welcome back to my We Can Fly videos. In this one, we are going to be learning some percussion rhythms. Um, when I first wrote the song, we had a whole load of African drums, shakers, cowbells that we used, but I'm fully aware that most people don't have those kind of instruments lying around at home. And so this video is just to show you that we can make some pretty cool percussion sounds on just random things that nearly everyone will have lying around their house, such as plastic bowls, saucepans, mugs, metal spoons, Tupperware containers, things like that. And, um, and so hopefully you can make some of these yourself or just find the objects and have some fun making some rhythms along with the song. So there are four rhythms and we're going to learn them just clapping first and then I'm going to show you which instruments or objects they work best on. So the first rhythm is a really simple one. It's basically keeping the beat. It just goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And notice that after four, I went back to one. I didn't carry on to five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter, but for those of you who do like to know these things, that means my song is in four. So, on the beat. Stay on the beat, please. Stay on the beat, please. So, that's our first rhythm, nice and easy. Now, the second one gets a bit more tricky. And it goes like this. One, two, and three. I know words can help us sometimes remember rhythms. So I'm recording this video in May 2020, um, in the middle of our coronavirus COVID-19 <laughs> lockdown. So I decided to use this rhythm. Home, stay at 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 home. And hopefully that'll help you to learn that rhythm and get it right. Now, next up, this is a tricky one actually. This is a tricky one. And this is what I call off beats. And so what that means is if we're tapping the beat with our foot, we can play off beats. And then we can actually even play two off beats. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a... So that's quite a tricky one. And when I first wrote the song, it was for a project to do with the Commonwealth Games, which is like a smaller Olympic Games coming to Glasgow. And I decided to use the name of one of our Commonwealth Games athletes one of our Olympic athletes, Tom Daly, to help us remember that. So some of you might have heard of Tom Daly, some of you might not have, but his name can really help us play this rhythm. So if you say Tom, but don't play, and then clap on Daly. So Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly. That's gonna help you learn that rhythm. Now, finally, um, the last rhythm we're going to work with today goes like this. One and two and three and four. 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 And some words. Again, this is our stay at home message. Um, and the words are we love making music at home. We love making music at home. We love making music at home. 
We love making music at home. We love making music at home. Excellent. So should we just try all of them again? Just clapping along with me. So we've got our beat. We've got that one. Easy, easy, isn't it? Then the second one is a bit harder. Home, stay at home. Stay at home. Stay at home. Stay at home. I think we've got that one too. And then our Tom Daly one. This is probably the hardest of them all. Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly, Tom Daly. We might have to practice that one a bit more. But anyway, that's great for now. And then our last one. We love making music at home. We love making music at home. We love making music at home. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of these rhythms on these random bits of stuff that I have just found <laughs> going through my kitchen cupboards. Um, some of them I've made and I'm not a particularly crafty person, so I'm sure some of you guys at home will do much more sophisticated or much better jobs of these. So first up, I made a couple of shakers. And for these, I just took a plastic bottle. Anyone will do. And this is the inside of a toilet roll, the cardboard bit. And so I covered one half with tape and I poured in some rice, just up to about there. And then I taped over the top of it again. So now we have a little shaker. Quite good, isn't it? And same with this bottle here. So just a plastic bottle filled with rice. Not filled actually, but just with some rice up to about here. And um, again, quite a nice shaker. So our shakers are going to be the beat. So remember, Pretty good. So you can go away and make yourself a shaker and then come back and have a little practice with the video. So just keep a nice, solid beat. Okay, so that's that, that's our shakers. Now, if you're doing, if this is a bit too easy for you, you can go twice as fast or even four times as fast. So I'll leave that up to you to decide. So that's our rice, plastic and toilet roll holder sh shakers. So the next rhythm, home, stay at home, stay at home. So with this rhythm, we want to find two sounds. So I'm gonna demonstrate first just with my body feet and hands. And so the hands, either a clap or a knee slap, are going to be stay. And the other ones are going to be the foot. So it's going to be like this. Home, stay at 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 home. Stay at Got it? It's not too bad. You might have to practice that one a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now, you can also find anything else really that has a low-ish sound and a high-ish sound. So this plastic ball will kind of do the trick as well. So if I put it on my legs here, that's kind of low. Not sure if it'll come through my microphone. And then on the side here, I can kind of slap it with my fingertips, and it's a bit of a high sound too. Home, stay at home, stay at home, stay at home, stay at home. So there we go, the plastic bowl drum.
Bet you've never seen that before. <laughs> okay, now, the hard one, the Tom Daly rhythm. So, you can really do this on almost anything you want, but it wants to be quite a high sound. We don't want it too low, so no big buckets or bins or the, the big balls, but I quite like that sound there. The bottom of this round Tupperware container. So I'm gonna hold it in my legs like this, and I'm gonna play it like this. Tom, daily tom, daily tom, daily tom, daily tom, daily tom, daily tom. Nice, and actually I got I found something else which I thought would work quite well for that rhythm and that's my trusty old grater which I've had for years and years and <laughs> so again Tom So that's quite nice as well now Our last rhythm Remember, it's we love making music at home. And so, when we first did this, back in 2014, we used cowbells. So they were like high-pitched metal sounds. And so I found a few metal things, which I think will work. So two teaspoons, just two teaspoons clicked together, kind of work. So. We love making music at home. We love making music at home. We love making music at home. Quite nice, huh? Now, we can experiment with some other sounds. So, I've got this saucepan lid here. And again, try different bits of it. So, oh, it's quite loud. So again, when you've got a loud one like this, metal on metal, you don't want to be hitting it as hard as you can. Just a nice, gentle rhythm. So I quite like the, the lid here, the handle rather, the handle, so. We love making music at home. And the saucepan itself, I think can sound quite nice. And I've also been experimenting with this mug. Now, obviously, if we've got a mug, we don't want to be hitting it with metal. That would be silly. Um, but I've got a chopstick here. Some of you might have chopsticks lying around in your cutlery drawer. And so that works quite well in this mug, and I know that I'm not going to break it. So, we love making music at home. And again, experiment with different parts of the mug. Mm, no, nope, don't really like that. But I do quite like this edge here. We love making music at home. We love making music at home. Excellent. So hopefully that's given you a few ideas of the kind of things that you can find around your house to take the rhythms and there's a sheet on my website with all the rhythms, both written out in music notation, for those of you who can read music. Um, also the different words, the one, two, three, fours, and our actual words that were there to help us learn the rhythm. So everything's there on a downloadable sheet from my website to help you. So yeah. Hopefully that's going to be fun and um, I look forward to hearing what kinds of things you find around your house to play percussion on because I'm sure most of you will do a much more exciting job of finding cool things to play than I did. I just did this very quickly this morning. So yes, thanks very much and I'm going to leave you with me playing some of these instruments along with the We Can Fly track. So, thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.
Thank you.